Christine. Hi, I'm Julie from Igalia. I'll talk about module conversion in printing, which I work. Here are some background. Uh, Chromium replaces legacy IPCs with Mojo and Igalia has worked on it. When I started to work on printing, Jess already had converted all of the messages sent from the browser to the renderer. So I started to work on the rest of IPCs. Printing has some configuration and multiple entrance points. Jess can trigger printing using window.print. Keyboard shortcut can trigger printing as well. Uh, and you can also print a page through context menu or through the menu. Normally on desktop, Chromium supports preview, but you can disable it with command line switch or keyboard shortcut. Printing also has some specific implementation for headless or Android web view. Yes, whenever I touch the code, I need it to verify it with these configurations. As you can see from the screen, print render frame helper sent IPC messages to several places in the browser. With Mojo, I introduced two Mojo interfaces, print manager host and print preview UI, Frame Helper has associated remote for them, and in the browser, Print Manager and Print Preview UI are receivers for them. So Frame Helper can send module messages through them to the browser. Preview ID structure has a preview ID and a request ID. When a preview UI is opened, preview ID is acquired. Uh, while it's opened, the preview request could happen multiple times, for instance, when some configuration is updated. So it has a request ID. When printing used legacy IPCs, it had to pass that information to the browser to know uh, where the message is from. After converting IPC to Mojo, the structure is not required anymore because it bound when the preview UI is opened and reset when the preview UI is closed. One of the challenging parts was how to change messages that used enable message pumping. There is a function that supports to pump message while a sync message is waiting for the reply. Uh, it was not used in many places because it could increase complexity during IPC, and the messages used it or the use cases had been cleaned up already. But printing used it with two legacy IPCs. Thanks to Ken, we could use the nested run loop, I defined the sync messages, and pass the callback that quit the run loop. Then the nested run loop allows running tests while it's waiting for a reply. reply. Uh, when we Use state, we should not forget to quit the run loop on the disconnection if it's running. Through this task, I cleaned preview ID structure, legacy IPC messages, handler, filter, and messages for printing. I also cleaned up enable message pumping. I'd like to say thanks to, uh, thanks to all who helped this work completed. I'm happy to share that the printing messages under the component has been fully converted to module.